punch. They were contemporary. The most explosive fighters that I've known, but physically I think he's still stronger even though like that. But so far in the first round, Berto is busier, and down goes Berto. Ortega immediately made the ruling. He's a good referee who's a former fighter and sees pretty well. It looked like the punch did it, but you may be right, Jim. Well, he blocked. He wouldn't have went down there, that been hit. Berto staggered again. Straight left hand by Ortiz. And Berto does go down the line ahead. A fighter inside as well as outside. Go ahead, the head. Break, break. I'm surprised by that. I'm stunned. Berto pastes Ortiz with a big right hand. Ortiz walks through it. Keeps throwing. Berto. But I don't know what's going to happen tonight. Break, break. Let him up. The the very, has has his composure up. back. Yeah, the very explosive. And he still has, seems to be still hurt from that uh, first round. I don't think he's fully recuperated. But I'm back in. Uh, January, Bradley and uh, uh, the fireworks we saw in the first round here. Good uppercut by Berto. He's another southpaw who is basically a right-hander. Berto has a look up to this fight, that he was facing an inferior fight punch the way he did. All, all of our team punches are very... There's the right hand shot. again. Yeah. Ending his straight right hand, and you've already seen the damage it can do. What a start. More willing to let his hands go. More fearless in the first couple of rounds. But Berto is... Break, break, let him out, let him out. A boxing match will emerge from the slugfest, which has taken place so far. But they're back to slugging again. But I, Berto is still never to me for he got up as compared to the way Berto was when he went down. Uppercut lands for Ortiz. Berto let him holding let him on. Let him Berto hasn't yet seen the up. Hard right, right hand by Berto, another big hook by Ortiz inside. Another straight left hand lands for Ortiz. Berto keeps motioning Ortiz in as if to say Berto land on the ropes. I mean, I agree with you. I don't know why I kept motioning him in because every time Berto would motion Victor Ortiz. Ortiz is a man on a mission. That I will not be determined. I will not be losing tonight. I will not be denied. And that's the way he's fighting. Two more hard shots. Another right hook for Ortiz. Hold himself up. But what's the motioning Ortiz in? A oh, that's, that's, that's a mockery thing. And he's tired. Big left hand by Berto. Ortiz Russell. walked right through it. There you see the legs. That's why he's in the ropes. On the scorecard. Yeah, but his legs are still weak to me. He's still leaning against the ropes for support. Still motioning. That he could stand toe to toe with him. Now he's trying. And then they trade another pair of big shots. Good, hard right. Ortiz testing Berto's legs once again. And he's been a welterweight fighting in the junior welterweight division. And right now. It peculiar story of winding up spending two weeks but connected to this slow start for him or is it just Ortiz? I think it's Ortiz. Ortiz is oh, holding up. <laughs> just making the distinction for you. <laughs> Down goes Ortiz on a perfect right hand shot by Berto. Suggs again. Now beats Ortiz the punch with the right hand. Ortiz's legs are very weak here. Hard right hand by Berto. His uppercut is good too. Now Ortiz is going to. Oh my God! Through. Unbelievable! What a fight! <laughs> then Berto goes down. Time, time. 55, four rounds to two. Victor Ortiz. You know, Jim. Let's talk about round six. Minutes of action. Four rounds to two. Ortiz. Or if there was an American fighter in the house. Oh my God! <laughs> Fighters who want to be great men in this sport. I'm tired again. I'm over excited. Thank you. Does anybody think we've seen the last knockdown in this fight? <laughs> Not I. And you saw the wobble there by Andre Berto. Because neither one is as fresh. And their legs aren't. Jim, if he loses this fight, and for any fight that he's won. 
amazing that the power that You mentioned had a history of these kind of tumultuous fights in the amateurs. Of course, in the amateurs, you oh, let him out. That's a holding. Load up power punches is giving Berto a chance to win the quiet. He needs to be careful not to hit Berto behind the head again. Let him out. An energy in it. And uh, he's got to try to land that right hand. Well, let's get the numerical. 83, six rounds to three, Victor Ortiz. There's no question that Andre Berto's got to do something. Break, break. I do like the way he breaks him up quickly and doesn't let those clinches go on. A point taken away. This, no doubt, is the motivation to try to make the round an even round. Now. Behind Pacquiao and Mayweather in the welterweight division. Oh. And that this is the first Looks fight. Looks like there's a new welterweight in town. Bling Berto, 22 out of 54, to 12 out of 31 for Berto. And then pull back for a minute and have Berto off balance. This is the way Berto looked in rounds one and two and wound up against the ropes. Trying to help, or trying to get the ropes to help him stand up. The next Mexican-American who would be a big box office attraction. It's taken him this long. Victor has been bringing it in every single round. I think is the welterweight champion of the WBC. He has created for himself a style which is about risk. And he just got hit with two big shots. Another big left hand for Ortiz. Rescue his position in the welterweight division. He has a magical backstory. There were some in the past several months, the stratosphere. And fans will not be able to wait to see him back in the ring. Was war. Step back. Step back. Take time. Vicious Victor. Team.